Hello, everybody! Welcome to maybe the last episode of uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. This is all the uh, legendary fights, just compiled into one video. Your arrival in this frozen forest means only one thing. You mean to challenge me. I am Articuno, the Warder of Ice. Those that enter the forest, I shall destroy with all my might. No matter who it may be. Oops. <laughs> Yeah, I um, froze the state there, just in case uh, Arkuno died and did not um, join me. You're gonna see me doing that a couple of times in this uh, video. Powder Snow is really fucking dangerous, because it just affects everything in the area. Like, sometimes I think that Articuno would be a really good um, option to take to those, like, level 1 no-item dungeons, because I think it has Powdered Snow at the beginning, but um, it also would level, like, so slow. It would be, like, level 2 by the time you got to the top of the dungeon, and it would just be ridiculously hard. I don't know. Uh, like I said in the last part, if you guys want to see me try some of those crazy ass dungeons um you'll just have to leave a comment and let me know because i'll only do them if requested uh because uh they're they're hard <laughs> and and uh yeah anyways um we've seen this area before but i still think it's really great Articuno's a level 53 which I think is a higher level than Rayquaza, which is, like, crazy, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, for this one, I brought Heatro, because he's a good boy. You know what makes me really fucking sad? Oh, hold on. HALT! <laughs> this is Mount Blaze! For you to venture to its peak, there could, be o there could be but one reason. You've come to challenge me. So be it. I am the warrior of fire, Moltres. Have you what it takes to defeat me when I am holding nothing back? Or holding back nothing, wh whatever. It's close enough. Show me. Anyway, you know what makes me sad? Is, uh, the fucking Tomy figure for, uh, Zigzagoon is like $50. Oh yeah, I'm telling him to go away because, um, he might kill Moltres with a uh, Thunderbolt or something, because he's so strong. So, we gotta make sure that I kill Moltres so that I can recruit it. What uh, legendary bird is your guys' favorite? Have I asked that before? It probably ADD, you know how it is. So tell me again! <laughs> I probably forgot! Uh, I don't know who's my favorite. Like, it's a tie between Articuno and um, Zapdos. Because Articuno is, like, the prettiest and the most fun to draw, but Zapdos is, like, the best. And I like to use it the most. Oh, goodness. There we go. I can't remember what I named this. Probably a Wings of Fire, uh, name. It's gonna be Ember, yeah. Because, you know, Wings of Fire. Yeah. Oh, there. Oh, I, I put them out of order. I gained access to Legendary Isles, so I should have put Moltres first in this video, but... Too late! <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We have we have them. That's, that's what's important. I, I wish that they had brought back... Fin I mean, I know I've said this before, but I really wish that they had brought back friend areas in the um, future games, because they were just so fucking cute! Also, check out this uh, Nidoran I got. I love him. So, you're back. 
since we last met. How much more have you furthered your team? Well, I got this Nidoran. <laughs> How much stronger? He's not very strong. Your power. Demonstrate it for me. That I can do. Oh god, they're like doing construction um, across the street. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's like fucking beeping and shit. Well, that didn't work. <clears throat> there we go. Seriously though, like, Cubone with a water type starter is such a good combination because it just, you just lightning rod. And then it's so good. Damn it. Shit. Now, this is when I learned something. It's really interesting because, um, okay, there, I, I recruited him. But, like, if I were to reload the state and just keep using the same move, like, if I were to reload and then just keep using Brick Break but standing in the same spot, he wouldn't be recruited. But then I stepped to the side and used a different move and then he got recruited. And, um, that, like, I don't know how it's programmed and that it's like it it determines like the second you use the move like even before they faint like the second you use the move they're going to be recruited or not and so you know I, I don't know it's, it's really interesting it's something that I didn't know about this game um, later on uh, when we get to Rayquaza it's demonstrated even more like I cut out a lot of the Rayquaza video actually because it was like a good 10 minutes straight of me just like walking around his area um, and trying all four of my moves, like, in a row to try, you know, and sometimes I would just attack and then try the different moves to try and get that to reset the whatever it was that decided, no, you're not going to recruit him this time. So, um, for those of you who are more, like, computery, programmy minded um, oh, whoops, he's Entei! <laughs> I was surrounded by fiery lava volcanoes, I was talking over his lines, oh well, depart from here. He looks so fat immediately. He looks like a corgi right there. Look at him. Because his legs are so small. Oh shit, I think my mom is home. Which sucks because uh, then, she's, then the dog is going to come in. I have tried to record this part like at least three or four times. And I only got like a minute in and then um, Xena would decide to get a toy. And it doesn't matter what toy she gets. Like, all her toys make noise. And so, then it would just get to be obnoxious, and then I'd have to, like, start over. And it's like, well, shit. Yeah, I think, I think she's home. Well. Got eight minutes in this time. That's uh, better than last time. I'll stop the recording when she gets in. You know. Anyway, yeah, you, you see here, you see how I'm continuing to use Bone Rush, but nothing's happening. Um, pretty soon here, I think I think maybe I did Entei before I did um, the Legendary Birds, because like, yeah, now I'm figuring out like, okay, I gotta try and ah, see, <laughs> there we go. You see, it's so weird, you know. I don't know why uh, why it does that. But, um, it's interesting. Pretty lame-ass names for some of these guys, but... Meh. You know what I should do one day? I probably have talked about this before. I'm so sorry for anyone who doesn't have ADD and is like, Wow, she, like, says the same shit, like, all the time. <laughs> uh, the, um... Uh, oh yeah, what am I, am I gonna, why am I looking at Peril? Because she's cute? Maybe. Anyways, what's it saying? Oh yeah, um, the friend areas, uh, because I really just absolutely suck balls at, like, colors and, um, light, 
and everything like that. I should do painting, um, painting exercises where I try to, like, paint these, um, different friend areas because it would be super cute. Wait, what? 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 Katie, what are you doing? Stupid idiot. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I meant to click summary. I think if you, like, say farewell, then you can't even get him again. I don't know. That would have been bad. Also, I guess my mom isn't home. And hello, we have Tropius with us. This is Lightning Field, my domain. All those who enter, I show no mercy no matter what. With my electric bolts, I will devastate you again. You never devastated me in the first place because I have a lightning rod. Nah, fam, cut that shit out. Nope. 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 There we go. Katie, freeze the state. There! There we go! <laughs> this is, uh, I recorded these, like, way back when uh, my recording program still works, so this is post-commentary. Uh-oh. Here she is. Oh my god, did you guys just hear my cat sneeze? Oh my god, she's doing it again. I don't know if the microphone picked that up. It was really cute. Anyway, yeah, I'm upstairs now. Uh, but my mom's watching a show downstairs, so you might hear that in the background. I don't know. One of these days, maybe I'm just gonna take my computer in and have them, like, wipe the whole thing, and then I'll, like restart it from scratch and just, like, install Sierra instead of fucking Mojave or something, because that's what needs to happen, because none of my programs work. Oh, no. I told my mom not to text or call me, and then my grandma tries to. <laughs> I I think I've tried to record this sec the second part of this video, like, at least nine or ten times at this point. And every single time something happens or somebody talks to me, and like, this is the last episode, it's like, let me finish this Let's Play, please. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, now we're here uh, in the northern field, the north wind field, and here comes my cat. And uh, we're gonna get Suicune. You mean to challenge me? I find little satisfaction in fighting. However, if you refuse my demands that you leave, I will accept your challenge. Experience it. My true power unleashed. There, I just threw my phone across the room. Of course, now my cat's interested in- <laughs> This is a shit show. I'm, I'm keeping this part. I don't care what else fucking happens. Like, there's just too much goes on in my Let's Plays, and I'm, like, so tired of it. Like, even when I'm absolutely alone, and I'm like, okay, nobody could possibly bother me, like... My dog makes noise, somebody calls me, somebody texts me, like... I could, like, go out in the middle of, like, the fucking Grand Canyon or something with, like, no internet, no nothing, go to record a Let's Play, and, like, some fucking, like, I don't know, like, desert spirit would appear and be like, Hey, Katie, how's it going? And then I would, I, there would be background noise, and I'd never be able to record my shit. This is how my life is. Oof, this is taking forever. Just wait till we get to Rayquaza. It's even more ridiculous. I like Delibird, by the way, a lot. Like, I want there to be a game, and I know that this kind of happened in Sun and Moon, where Delibird is, like, near the beginning of, like, uh, the game. So you can have it, like, you know, in your party for a long time. But by the time that I found it, um... 
by the time that I found Delibird um, on I don't even remember what the fuck island. It's by the the meadow. Is it Pony Pony Meadow with Orcorio in it? Um, and Delibird's like near there, if I'm remembering correctly. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe now that there's gonna be Gen Eight, maybe um, Delibird will be somewhere, and I can have Delibird in a team early on because uh, I know he's really weak. But I mean, I like him. So yeah, this is Suicune. So now we're done with the legendary dogs. And now it's time for Kyogre. Whoa! My power is bursting. My infinite power. Really? I'm upstairs and she's got a bark. For fucking real. <laughs> my duels against Groudon left us both exhausted. I took to a long and deep sleep. All the time I waited, waited for my power to recover. And now, I'm on the verge of regaining my power. I love this stage. It's beautiful. I'm Kyogre, the Lord of the Sea. Witness the destructive force of my something I pushed the button too fast, I'm sorry. Marvel at my awesome power. What am I doing? What are you doing, Katie? I don't remember. Telling checkers to go away, I think. Wait, that that's not did I just click go after foes like a fucking idiot? I did. <laughs> oh, I'm letting her help? I don't remember that. Whatever, you know. Ah yeah. Alright, cool. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know what the rest of this stage looks like because I didn't walk around, you know? Like, I should have, um, I should have walked around and seen what the rest of this stage looked like. Because now that I've beaten it, I don't think that, like, when you go back that, well, I mean, obviously Kyogre's not there, so I think it just was like, oh, you beat the dungeon, and then it, it's, it's done. I'm curious now. It will be a mystery forever. Maybe somebody else who plays this game, like, when you're fighting Kyogre, walk around and see, see what is there. Okay, uh, using team members effectively. When you're fighting in a dungeon, it's important to use your team members. Hit to, oh, yeah, okay. Adding team members, uh, friend areas and stuff. Yeah, you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. Secrets of the gummy, that one might be good. Retreats revealed that popular gummy trees not only enhance intelligence, they also have different effects depending on type. Share gummies with your friends and get smarter for your adventures. In dungeons, throw them at your friends, blah blah blah. I'm also still never gonna go over the fact that I have a little garden in front of my house. I think it's kawaii as hell. Anyway, it's, uh, it's grad on time now. See, like, Groudon's area, you can... It's, like, smaller, you know? Like, I feel like Kyogre's went further than what we could see. Yeah, how do you restore me in my sleep? I let Rage one run wild before, but I won't allow that again. Those that disturb my sleep. She'll be crushed. No matter who it may be. Oof. Nope. Ah, there we go. I don't remember what I name him. What even do I name him? Quake? I think I name him Quake. <laughs> I 
Alright, yeah, you guys can probably hear the TV in the background. So, great, now my dog is playing. I'm telling you, like, no matter what I do, no matter where I am, I can never have sun. This is beautiful, look at this. I hate fire and heat, and, and I would I would not like it here, but this is cool. Like, what are those, like, teeth or claws or something coming out of the, like, place he's standing on? I think it looks badass. Neat. All right. Here we go. Here's the time I keep talking about, and now you're finally going to be able to see what I was uh, meaning. So I cut out a big section in this, in the middle of this, um, because it took like 15 minutes of me refreshing. So it is you who dare to trespass upon my airspace. You scaled the sky tower. Now you wish to challenge me to a battle. In destroying the falling star, I sustained injuries upon my body and my pride. To better protect my domain, I have made myself stronger. And so that I may draw out my newly gained power. I am now unleashing every bit of my might. My power shall overwhelm, but you dare to stand up to it? I commend your courage. And now it's time to... Attempt to recruit Rayquaza, which is going to take a really long time. Also, when he dragon dances two times in a row, that shit is, like, so OP. <clears throat> Can I just say that I appreciate that the cloud background is not just static, it's, like, flowing, I guess, the clouds, you know? Looks cool. Rayquaza, I feel like, is one of the hardest fights in the game. I don't know, maybe if I had, like, um, Ice Beam or something, it would probably be easier. I mean, I'm using Bone Ring on him, which does fuck all, so... Ah. And here we go. Now it's time to, like, dance around the entire stage and use a bunch of different moves and see when it decides that I'm okay to <laughs> recruit him. There, there, I cut it, because there was a lot of- as you can see, I'm in an entirely new area now. I think I, I walked over to the left for a while, and then I walked over to the right. And now I'm at the right, so... Every step you take, I feel like it resets the chance of you recruiting it. So, that's just what I did. I'm using all my different moves in order. Yep, and then that one triggered it for some reason. Do I name him Scorch? I think I need no yeah. That's what I named my Rayquaza in Emerald. The first time I played it. And let's go look at him. I love this area. It's so cool. I love the stylized clouds and the colors. And it looks like a throne. And the tornadoes in the background. Can we talk about the tornadoes for a second? Like the, the whirly swirly tornadoes? Like I don't think they're actually tornadoes. But they look like tornadoes to me. So um, I'm going to pretend. I think they're like pillars with air. But you know. I can dream. Okay. Okay. So this is the first legendary portion where um, Snaps Pro no longer works, so um, hopefully the sound's okay. We're just gonna have to see. Why? Why have you come here? This is the Silver Trench. This is my territory. My name is Lugia. I am the guardian of the seas. To protect this sea, I have settled here. If you dare to challenge me, 
So be it. I will rise to your challenge. Cast aside all thoughts. Unleash every bit of your power. With your life at stake, bring it on. All right, so normally with legendaries like these, you have to... Um, I'm going to say this to you. Uh, you have to defeat them once and then like go through the dungeon again and come back and try and fight them again. But with Lugia, you can actually recruit him on the first try. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. Because if he doesn't join me, I'm just going to like reset the state because I'm not going through 99 floors again for like nothing. Because, you know, that's kind of ass. Okay, so I think I figured out the problem. Apparently you need to have your team size uh, reduced a lot because Lugia's recruitment uh, rate is 99%. So let's find out. Yep. <laughs> okay, that was the problem. So if anybody else is having that issue, that's what you need to do. All right. So, I always aim my Lugia as this. I'm not sure if there's going to be cutscene after this. Let's find out. Ah, okay. Ah. Yep. Okay. So, hi, Zod. You know, long time. Uh, you're here to visit us. After all that's happened, Zaki, you must be interested in our adventures. Uh, I'm not doing voices right now because there are people around, so... Sorry. Wrong. Shopping in Pokemon Square is what I came to do. I come here only because it is on the way. This is not very important. Oh, is that all? Hey, Zatu. Oh, hey, there you are. Didn't, you, didn't know you'd be here. You had me looking. What is it? Well, to the northeast of Mount Thunder, there's a gigantic cave. There wasn't anything like that there before, hey? So I figured Zatu would know something. I shall call it the Meteor Cave. Meteor Cave. It was when Rayquaza destroyed the falling star. Its pieces broke and they scattered across the skies. One tumbled to earth. It fell into a mountain and made the cavern you speak of. Say, Blastoise, did you explore inside the Meteor Cave? Oh uh, yeah, just a little. But the place was crawling with these weird things. It freaked me out. I couldn't stay there long. Who who would have thought it? Blastoids is kind of cowardly. What's that? Hey, you, checkers. If you were to see that dungeon, you'd be intimidated too. I've never seen anything like it before. There were downright bizarre things in there that I'm not sure were even Pokemon. Zot, did you have any idea what... What? Do you have any idea what are in that place? I draw a blank. I do not know. However, that cavern, the collision that caused it had to be enormous. If there were things that survived the crash, perhaps, of this world it may not be. You mean they came from that falling star? Perhaps that is so. Zing, we should go investigate that meteor cave. Yes, we should. Alright, cool. Hooray! Microphone only, no Mac audio. You can hear my mom putting away the dishes. <laughs> Alright. Okay. See you next time. Alright, so we are here at the Western Cave to fight Mewtwo. I don't think that you can actually recruit him on the first try, but I'm recording just in case you can. Was it you who disturbed me in my sleep? Was it you? You better not kill my Atkins that I found on the way here, because uh, Atkins is my new friend. My name is Mewtwo. I came into being only to fight. I have secluded myself here in suspended animation. Would you like to know why? It's quite simple. If anyone such as you were to come along, I could defeat them at full power. Come on! Uh, what even? Okay, cool. Dude, I'm doing so much damage to him, holy shit. 
Don't kill my Atkins. Oh, wow, that was easy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure that you could only recruit him the second time. So I'm gonna, yeah, I don't know if he says different shit the second time, though. So I guess we'll find out. Okay, here we are in, whoa, I'm fast. Here we are in Buried Relic. And um, as soon as I climbed the stairs and entered this floor, I got a message that said, Mew, use transform. But uh, I wasn't quick enough to start my recording to, like, you know, show you when it was on the bottom of the screen. So, that means one of these dots in here is Mew. It could be any of them. And what I'm going to do is, oops, before I, okay, well, first of all. Okay, well, if we can chase down these motherfuckers, okay. Save state! <laughs> and then, yep, there was. So, that's Mew. Don't kill it, checkers. Can you only recruit it, like, after you've been here a couple times? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's just, like... Aw, oh, man. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research and, like, see. But this is how you find Mew, anyway. I mean, I'm not gonna keep, like, refreshing the state here, because this would be a boring-ass video. Let me try one more thing. No. Did it even like... Yeah. But this is how you find me. So, um, I will, uh, recruit it. <laughs> Somehow. Bye.